Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be all about the post credit scene for Marvel Spider-Man 2. If this leak is true, this is going to be absolutely huge for the third game. Now, with that being said, I do want to issue a quick spoiler warning if you guys don't want to have that post credit scene potentially ruined for you. OK, so you have been warned. Now, before we talk about that post credit scene, we got to quickly talk about the ending of the game, because then the post credit scene will make a little bit more sense. If you guys want to see a more in-depth video about the ending of the game. I've actually posted a video on that, so go check that out. A quick little overview though, basically the game ends with a big Venom versus Miles and Peter fight, except Peter evens the playing field a little bit because he ends up becoming anti-Venom. Now we don't know if he's going to look like the monster symbiote version or if he's just going to look like a regular Spider-Man but with a white military looking suit maybe. I'm kind of leaning towards him possibly having something that looks kind of like Agent Anti-Venom but a little less military basically just a white symbiote version of the advanced suit I think that would look pretty cool but anyways Harry is Venom and they're fighting him at the end of the game and they beat him and Harry ends up dying and that is going to directly set us up for the rumored post credit scene of the game because yes it involves the Green Goblin aka Norman Osborn aka Harry Osborn's dad now Insomniac has been teasing this since the first game every single post credit scene that involves Venom Harry and Norman Norman always has a green light on on his skin which makes him look like the Green Goblin. They're basically telling us that the iconic villain of Green Goblin will be in a future game and that looks like it's going to be Spider-Man 3. Now there has been a lot of foreshadowing for this eventual transformation of Norman into the Green Goblin. Just look at his personality and how he acts around other people. He is not a good guy. He had a falling out with Otto. He did a lot of really unethical testing as well in an attempt to cure his son Harry from a terminal genetic illness and that actually led to the transformation of Martin Lee aka Mr. Negative which was the main villain in the first game. He was also responsible for creating Devil's Breath which we all know was being made to be a cure but it wasn't used for that purpose in the game. It was a bioweapon which just sets him up to look even worse now and Norman becoming Green Goblin just makes so much sense. You know that he loves his son and he's doing all these crazy things in order to try and heal him even bonding his son with an alien symbiote like that is how down bad Norman is right now to cure his son. He is just doing the absolute craziest stuff and just imagine how hard Harry's death is going to hit him at the end of Spider-Man 2. And it serves as perfect motivation for him to go after Spider-Man because Peter Parker and Miles Morales are the ones that are going to be responsible for taking down Venom while Harry is attached to the symbiote. So Harry dies and Norman is going to go absolutely crazy and want to hunt down the Spider-Man. It just writes itself honestly like this thing sets itself up perfectly for Marvel Spider-Man. Spider-Man 3. And then on top of that, we had a lot of Easter eggs regarding Oscorp tech that is going to directly link to the Green Goblin. There's a glider, there was a helmet, there was Green Goblin looking bombs. They were purple in the game, maybe they stay that color, or maybe he makes them orange like in the comics and some of the movies that he has appeared in. We know that Norman has a secret room, which makes a lot of sense to put all of his Goblin tech in there when he eventually becomes him. And yeah, I just think this makes a lot of sense. If this was not true, I would honestly honestly be shocked. The post credit scenes for the Spider-Man PS4 and then the Miles Morales game were all linking towards Norman Osborn becoming the Green Goblin. I don't think the trend is going to be different. I think the third game is going to be Norman Osborn again in that post credit scene teasing him becoming the iconic villain for Marvel Spider-Man 3. And I think if Spider-Man 3 is the end of the trilogy for the Peter Parker arc of Spider-Man, I think it makes a lot of sense. Maybe Green Goblin even kills Peter and then the game universe would be very very similar to the Ultimate Comics universe where Peter Parker is killed and Miles Morales has to take up the mantle. By the time that third game comes around, Peter would have taught Miles a lot and Miles should be comfortable being that only Spider-Man if that scenario does happen. Obviously, I don't want to see Peter die, but I truly think it's going to be a big possibility for that third game. Like I said, I really hope it doesn't happen, but I can totally see it happening. We're going to be so invested in these characters that I think Peter's death would really hit us all extremely hard. Now quickly before we wrap up the video um, we don't actually know what that post credit scene is going to look like. Nobody has let us know online uh, from playing those review copies early so um, let's just quickly go over what that might look like. This is my prediction of what uh, the post credit scene for Spider-Man 2 is going to look like. So uh, at the end of the game Harry dies, Venom is defeated. 
I think the end of the game is going to be Harry Osborne's funeral. And then I think Peter is going to go up and try to talk to Norman. And Norman's going to be very upset, not want to talk to him. He's going to be kind of aggressive, basically tell him to go away. Um, maybe he even finds out Spider-Man's identity in the game and he knows that Peter is responsible and he hates that Peter is at the funeral because he sees Peter as responsible for his son's death. That would be really great. It would bring a lot of emotional tension. So I think that might be a possibility. And then I think uh, the very end of the post credit scene is going to be um, Norman reaching out to the tank that Harry was in at the end of the first game and the Miles Morales game, seeing that it is now empty, his son is no longer there, his son is gone, he's going to be super sad, there's going to be sad music or something, his hand is going to be on the tank, it's going to be empty, and then you might hear like a laugh or something, the Green Goblin laugh, and then he's going to open his eyes and look upwards or something. Maybe he even sees the reflection of himself as the Green Goblin in the tank, I don't know. Maybe he takes a new version of GR27 because that thing does involve healing and strength and all of that. So maybe he takes like GR27 or GR28, a new version, injects himself with that and just goes absolutely crazy. I think that would be a pretty solid way to do this post credit scene. And I think the actual Green Goblin transformation might even take place in the exact same tank that Harry Osborn was in. Kind of similar to the first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie. And I think it would be really poetic, you know, having that tank that he tried to save his son in be the exact same tank that his transformation happens in where he tries to avenge his son but that's just my theory but yeah guys that is pretty much it it looks like the leaked post credit scene is going to be norman osborne basically going crazy due to the death of his son in marvel spider-man 2 making him go absolutely insane and turning into the green goblin and using a lot of oscorp tech to do so are you excited for this post credit scene do you think it's true do you think it's not let me know down below in the comments and are you excited for marvel spider-man 3 if they end up using green goblin as the main villain i think it's going to be a mix of maybe Null and the Symbiotes and then Green Goblin, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Marvel Spider-Man 2 comes out in 10 days. I am so excited for this game. I'll be posting a ton of content on my gaming channel. I might even live stream it on Twitch. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I am so excited for this game. I can't wait to find out what that post credit scene is. But like I said, I 100% think it's going to be Norman Osborn for sure. That's what the leaks are saying. That's what I've been predicting since that first game. I knew that third game was going to have the, you know green goblin in it it's spider-man's most iconic villain it makes a lot of sense so i guess uh, we're all gonna have to beat that game put 20 hours in and see what that post credit scene is so guys that's it for the video thank you for watching if you guys want to stay up to date with the latest news and rumors regarding marvel spider-man 2 leading up to its release make sure you subscribe and i will see you in the next video